two women were allegedly attempted to sell a 40-day-old baby boy in Coimbatore. Now, the two women are allegedly repeat offenders and were out on bail, having been jailed earlier in a similar illegal child trafficking case. 27-year-old Hasina and another woman, Kalyani, were arrested in May after the Namakkal police busted the child sale racket. Both these women were caught again attempting to sell a 40-day-old infant for 2 lakh rupees to an auto rickshaw driver. The cops have traced the child's parents and are trying to find out if more people are currently involved in this entire trade. Let me go across to my colleague Pramod Madhav joining me live. Pramod, this is a very, very shocking case and let's not forget 10 children go missing in Tamil Nadu daily and this has been one of the data that has also come out from the State Crime Records Bureau. But in this case, help us understand what happened, who are these two accused because they also seem to be repeat offenders. Well, it's a very important case for the state of Tamil Nadu because it deals with uh, infant sale, like, you know, between the uh, mean uh, days of uh, 10 to 20, 40 days old to 2 months old. This is the kind of category they have gone for ahead and we actually extensively reported this particular uh, uh, case back in May itself where, uh, like, children from Namakal, like certain children who were apparently uh, stolen from the hospital, kidnapped from the hospital, were sold and it did become a very big issue and Hasina, as per the police, were arrest was arrested in that case alone. Back in the, uh, May, what has occurred is that the Child, the children were categorized. If it's a boy child, if it's a girl child, they were given different prices. And if the child is uh, like uh, of a fair skin, it's given a different price. And all those things were categorized. And the police busted them out. And Hasina has been arrested on that case. She came out on bail and once again being arrested with a child, which she attempted to sell for uh, like 20, uh, 2 lakh rupees, has once again shocked the entire state. Absolutely. But Pramod, request you to stay with us at this point because it is extremely important to note how these culprits were exposed. What is interesting here is the fact how both of these women were caught. Hasina and Kalyani, in fact, demanded more money from the buyer because the infant was a boy. This led to an argument which turned into a scuffle soon. Later, the bystanders, in fact, there informed the cops about the scuffle. It was in this probe by the District Child Protection Unit, the cops found out that the two women were in fact running a racket to sell the infants. So Pramod, this is important because it is this expose that has now shown how the child trafficking is on the rise. Now if you speak about these two women, tell us how did the cops go ahead and expose them? Well, the, the shocking part here is that, like, even though the people in the state believe that the child, like, you know, selling of child, uh, like, especially infants, has come to an end, once again, it has been uh, exposed, and not just by the uh, like authorities or anybody, but by a good Samaritan who saw three people fighting over a baby. And he, the person apparently had thought that, like, one person was harassing them. And that's the reason he has called the police, and the police and Enrique uh, reached the spot, and when they, I mean, detained these three, two, three people for questioning, they found out they, that they were carrying a 40-day-old boy child and the people Hasina and Kalyani were allegedly trying to sell it to Hussein and were demanding extra money stating that the child is in a healthy condition and it's a boy that led to a scuffle where they like started beating each okay. other and that's how police actually uh, went to the place itself so the authorities did not play any role in the beginning of exposing this uh, uh, particular case it was just a good Samaritan who saw a child being in the center of a fight and he called up the police right now the police as you exactly mentioned is also questioning the child's parents who they have traced to find out if they will or trying to willingly sell the child or was it kidnapped but Pramod that brings us to the larger concern here this was perhaps sheer chance luck on the part of the police that they were there and some good Samaritan called them and that is when this entire issue was exposed but there could be so many other cases Pramod perhaps that goes undetected as there are almost 10 children who go missing on a daily basis and there is absolutely no measures or no way to find out where these children are Absolutely, and that's the scariest part because even back in like May when the case was exposed, it was in Namakal and especially children from tribal regions that belong to tribal uh, community, those were the children were actually uh, uh, found out to be uh, uh, kidnapped or taken away from the parents and sold for such a price. That case is still pending. It's not like the investigation is not yet over. And even before any good answer could be uh, like, you know, derived from the particular investigation, okay. imagine the same person who was accused in that case has been once again arrested while trying to sell a child.
Absolutely. There are several concerns also coming out, the manner in which uh, children are being illegally trafficked uh, in Tamil Nadu. We'll have to leave it there, Pramod. Many thanks for joining us with those updates.